every time I'm up there, I'm always doing something else. And, uh, I never had any time to stop over by this place. He lived, he lived on the east side of Green Bay next Yeah. Off of, off of that. Yes. Uh, well, I, I have to say that carefully. Uh, first of all, this is called a vibrating lever engine because in the 1850s, a vibration was not this. That we today we call this a vibration. That was not a vibration. Anything that moved in an arc, in an arc, okay, it was but did not complete a circle, oh, okay. was a vibration. So the old semaphore signals yeah. were vibrate. You were vibrating your arms when right. you did it, mm -hmm. and because of the arms or the lever shafts moving here, they were called vibrating shafts. Sure. So, and oh, okay. Erickson patented the vibrating shaft engine in 1858. However, the pistons had piston rods and cross heads out here moving, so the whole engine was this big. All right. When he designed the monitor, he realized that he did. This is all scale. Yeah, that's it. He, he needed this space for his blowers because the oh, ship was sure. so low. Yeah. He had no smokestacks on it. Yep. Only when they were cruising would they would put they telescope 